it's the best upstream prevention for all downriver cleanup. You want healthy kids, right. get your marriage in order. If you want a healthy community, all agree that marriage today has some incredible challenges, maybe more so than ever before in history. So what's going to happen with marriage and couples in the future? It's my experience that as, as uh, our society changes, uh, the goal for couples now is to evolve with the change and that the changes the society, our culture, the inventions, the internet changes, but the need to connect and communicate stays the same. It's about the basics, and that's what we need to stay focused on, and the rest will roll naturally. I think s stepping out of monogamous relationships is a way of sidestepping the real issue. And to me, the real issue is that we don't know how to manage the inevitable conflicts and the angry feelings that go with it. So when the relationship gets pummeled into the ground, we think, oh, monogamy is to blame, but it's really, we don't know how to deal with our negative feelings in a way that embraces the relationship. So it's not the institution of marriage that's at fault, it's that we haven't learned how mm -hmm. to do what we need to do with our negative feelings. And, and one of the thoughts that um, Helen and I have discussed many times about this is that we're pretty convinced that the model of marriage that has been in existence for the last 250 years is obsolete. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by that is that the marriage is a vertical marriage in which there's somebody in charge and so there's competition. There's always a put down if there's um, somebody who knows stuff and the other person should know it, which is the basis of conflict. That we're discovering does not work, that when you focus in your marriage on what am I getting out of this marriage, your marriage will go downhill. But if you focus on what does this marriage need from me, not what am I going to get from it, but what does this marriage need from me, then you move from an individ individualistic focused marriage to a partnership marriage, and where the relationship is primary rather than the self. Right. And that what's going to happen in the future is that the marriage based on the me is going to disappear because we think it served its purpose in history to get free from other people picking who you're gonna marry and getting into marriage by choice and had the romantic uh, feelings um, as the indicator of the right person uh, to be with. That that's gonna continue, but a new structure will occur which will be horizontal instead of vertical. Conversation will be dialogical instead of monological. And then we'll have great, great uh, intimacy because anxiety will be gone when that structure goes. I also want to appreciate what you've just said about <clears throat> we're in this fast-paced, wild, crazy society. Um, and what does this mean for marriage today? It's the same thing, that a healthy relationship is where there's real connection right. going on. Parvel and I have visited Imago therapist, marriage therapist in different parts of the world and, and in war-torn parts of the world. We have seen, we've worked with therapists in Israel, in the Palestinian territories, in Croatia. And it's interesting as we have gone to those areas that the couples that are using Imago therapy or a good therapy technique, there is joy in their home, even with the bombs going on all around their country. I love how Harville will say it's the best upstream prevention for all downriver cleanup. You want healthy kids, get your marriage in order. If you want a healthy community, all of the Absolutely. marriages in that community should get good relationship education. And if you really want to experience true self-love, you know, which I think is the foundation for, for everything that makes a good relationship possible, Putting your relationship first is really the best way to do that because exactly. because you're like you say downstream. You're, it, the trickle down effect to your children is unbelievable, and also out into the community, out into the world, to the planet. I mean, it's the, the, it's a major paradigm shift that happens once you put your relationship first before everything else. It seems to me that if we can condense what we're all saying, it's about intimacy, mutuality, and reciprocity, and communication. And with those characteristics, we can, we can handle any change in technology, any change. 
And I think this is really the core of how to change relationships, marriage, going forward into sort of the next century. And this piece is so important, what, uh, what you're all doing around making relationship the number one priority, because that's what moves marriage into the next century. Perfect.